Soji Hamada, a well-known Japanese artist, used to say it takes 20 years to feel comfortable with clay. And that's really true, you know, it's not as easy as it looks. I'm Kathy Wismar. I started ceramics a long time ago. Clay has a mind of its own. It really is a mutual kind of rapport that, or interaction that goes on. focus a lot on color with my ceramics. So the clay for me is a canvas. You can pick up a piece of, of pottery and it has such a, a sensual feel to it. And I always tell people to pick it up because that's how you get a sense of what it's like. You know, you pick it up, you feel it, you sort of connect with it. And people are afraid to do that. It's so interesting. You have to feel it and you sort of connect with the piece and I think that's important. My love of clay is that it involves all of your five senses. You, know, you, have, you touch it, you, you smell it, um, you can hear it. You know, sometimes when you're throwing, you can, sometimes you can hear there's a little bubble or something in there. So it's visual, it, it's all the five senses that, you know, you know more often than not, your hands are full of clay and you, you have to wipe your face and you taste it and I'm wanting to, so there also is the taste involved. It's working with your hands, it's a sense of design, it's color, and you can use it. That's one of the main things I like about ceramics. I don't think I'll ever give it up. It's very relaxing when I just sit down and allow myself to just create. It's very rewarding to be able to watch something take shape and change it a little bit, play with it a little bit. It's just very energizing. Hopefully I'll do the painting and, and the ceramics um, forever.